Samunan, 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 guys. Um, so I was asked to do a video <laughs> about changing a hoe into a housewife slash husband. <laughs> um, what can or can't be changed about your partner? Figuring out your boundaries, deal breakers. Can a hoe change their ways? Um, how to know when to call it quits? It's kind of your level. Guys, you know, um, look, I think I might say a couple of things that might be controversial. Again, I'm just talking about my own experience. Uh, so I'd like to for people just to take with a pinch of salt. You know, I'm not saying what uh, whatever I'm saying is not the gospel truth. It's just based on my experiences. So just please bear with me um, and try your best not to get too triggered about what are the, uh, some of the things that I'll say. So. Um, changing a hoe into a housewife, um, or a wife, I guess, changing a hoe into a wife slash husband. Um, I'd like to separate the two. I'd like to separate the two sexes or genders. I like to talk about a hoe in a female sense and then a hoe in a male sense, uh, uh turning a hoe into a wife, turning a hoe into a husband. I want to, I want to break that down and that's going to be quite controversial. And then I'm going to try and chat about, um, what can you change about your partner, your boundaries? Um, can ho change their ways and when to call it quits? I think one of the things that I've said multiple times, multiple, multiple times is there are clear differences between men and women. You know, um, we can try and equate it in society and say, what he can do, I can do. What she can do, I can. No, I wouldn't say it the same. I've used multiple examples from physical violence you know just because a sister slaps me doesn't mean i can slap her back asling and we're not the same and there's many other examples um that we've discussed over over multiple videos uh however when it comes to quote unquote ho ho is a person as how we define it has slept with multiple multiple people uh in my language in my language in Zulu. Uh, a, a man who has multiple females, who has multiple girlfriends, or who can get multiple females, we call him Isoga. You know, um, there, there is no uh, a word. Isfebe is very derogatory, but it's used for females rather than being used for men. And one of the thinkings that I, I, I want among here, and I think it's because in my, I, it, again, I might be wrong, I'm just thinking. Uh, uh, based on what I've heard, what I've seen, what I've experienced, is that for men, men go out there and they have to hunt for the female, you know. So uh, we know that in society, females are the prize. It's us that go out there. and want to say, see, it is us that are saying, listen, this is what I can do. This is if you become la 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 la, we have to go and, you know, uh, um, conquer, you know, for lack of a better term. And the more people you can conquer, uh, uh, the the more society will, will reward you, I guess, you know. Whereas the opposite for females is quite different, you know. For females, it is just you having to accept, you know. And a female who can't say no, a female who accepts everything is, is judged. So again, the man being the lion, the hunter, a, a lion who can catch multiple bucks is always rewarded. Whereas you as a female, if you are an impala, and every single animal out there from a jackal to a fox to anything can catch you, you know, um, mm -mm, you know, so give me, I separated. So I'm really, really sorry. I just wanted to put that out there. There's, there's a, a old meme that used to say, Wuti, a, 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 a key that can open many locks is called a master key, you know, and a lock that can be opened by any key is useless, you know. So again, the male penis being the key, if it opens many locks, then it's a master lock and the lock being the for JJ. If any key just goes in there. It... I know it's sensitive. I know, I know it's about Trikati, but I just wanted to just to define that. And then it goes to. Can a whole change? Ah, a whole, a whole. Hmm. Can a whole, I, yes, yes, I guess, like anyone, we all grow, we all learn. Um, there's many females who uh, go through what they call a whole phase, and then they joke about it when they get into their later 20s. Oh, no, I did my whole phase in my, when I was 22, 23. And then they joke, but now I'm 28, and, now I'm, and then they get to 34, 35, and it's no longer a joke because they realize, the mistakes done 
there when they were 22, 23 actually carries them right through. Being a hoe is like uh, raking up debt that never expires, you know. So if you make clumsy mistakes and you rake up all this debt when you're 22, 23, this debt doesn't disappear. It just gains interest, you know. So by the time you get to 35 and you're trying to settle down, um, the debt will follow you. And that's why you have a lot of our sisters that tend to lie and just say, don't ask me about my numbers. Don't ask me about my accounts because they know. You know, they, they know it's not something to be proud of. They know it's something that they, it, it irks them because they, they, they carry so much guilt. They carry so much guilt around that. So um, is it possible to, to change? Yeah, of course, it is possible to change. So I think a whole, even, even a man who sleeps around, which I am not for, I don't think it is a, a positive trait for uh, a man to sleep with many women, for many women to say they've been with that guy. I, I think human beings, male and female alike, need to be a scarce resource. Um, they need to be rarer than diamonds and golds and, and gold. So for but I do think that people change. That's one thing I I, I think people change. Um through circumstance, through meeting the right person. There's many reasons why people change. Uh I tend to be very skeptic whenever I come across a a, a hoe who's tell me who's told me they change. I think I need time to believe that. But can they change? Yeah, I think they can change. Mm. what can be a challenge but... guys um so in my relationship what i do when i speak to a potential partner is i tell her sissy i'm not trying to change you you know i have in the past tried to change people and it doesn't work when people don't want to change they don't want to change so again hey i'm not trying to change you you know i'm not saying wake up at five and go to gym with me i'm not trying to change you i'm on my path this is my direction I'm looking for a partner who's willing to walk next to me in the same direction. So if it just means that in your life, you're going in that direction and I'm going in that, that's okay. That's, that's fine. It just means that we're not for each other. I'm not going to try and change you because again, once you change a person too much or you change, you no, know, like, I'm going to say, you mean? I, like how we are vegan. Huh? They're going to start doing things behind your back uh, because they'll operate in their default mode. The only time people, I think, change is when they want to change, when they see the benefits of what you do, um, when you speak truth into it, then they choose to change, and that is healthy. But if it's you, the one that's forcing them to change, yeah, they'll 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 resent you with time. I've seen that. Excuse me, they'll they'll definitely resent you. Finding your own boundaries, deal breakers. Um. So, uh, this is another one that is very much subjective you know person to person um so when it comes to things like boundaries when it comes to things like think deal breakers it changes you know there's societal deal breakers society loves putting all these deal breakers you know if she has a child that's a deal breaker that's not true there's many guys that date <laughs> that marry women with multiple kids it's not a deal breaker no you just because you're young you're inexperienced you know once you get to age 40 if you're 40 years old as a guy Unless you're looking to go date little 21-year-old girls as a 40-year-old, then chances are, if you're trying to date within your age bracket, chances are those sisters will have kids. They might have two different baby daddies. You know, that, that might be the case. So when it comes to deal breakers, it's very subjective. It's also based on where you are in your stage of life. You know, you'll have people, oh, no, if he ever cheats on me, I'll leave him. Many of our sisters get cheated on. I mean, I've been young again. Sally, no, so it's fair. But many, many guys get cheated on. They've stayed. So it's very much subjective, you know, from the most extreme physical abuse to people sleeping around to people, you know, your boundaries are very much subjective, you know. So again, it's all depends on what you can and cannot take in your line in the sand. My, my boundary, my non negotiable is respect. So if I feel disrespected, if you say things that, I, 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 me, I'll leave you out of principle. So I'm huge on respect. You know, you won't belittle me. You won't, no, no, no. You won't do anything that makes me lose viewing you as the queen that you are in my life. And the moment I lose that, uh, I don't want to be in a relationship with a person that uh, doesn't respect me and I don't respect them. Then that to me is a deal breaker. But I, I really think it's a, such a subjective one. Um, I try to move away from what society say. So again, if she were to slap me to many people that's a deal breaker 
you know, she disrespect you. If we can sit down and sort that out and understand what it was happened out of anger, la, 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 and I choose to forgive her, then that's me. You know, so again, my deal breaker and your deal breaker isn't the same. I just, again, try to build a foundation based on respect. No one is perfect. Everybody makes mistakes all the time. So try and sit down and figure out what your deal breakers are. Try not to listen to too much of that noise that is out there. Uh, go my socials. How to know to call it quits. Um, that's another tough one, you know, uh, because again, I mean, I'll never tell anyone to break up with anyone. I never, I'll never tell them because tomorrow they'll want to go back together and they'll say, oh, we're not pensing. You told us to break. No, 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 no. I won't do that. So what I will do is that I'll give you my experiences and I'll give you what I would do should I be in your situation. And then you need to sit down and make a decision for yourself so that if it works out, you do keep, give yourself a pat on the back. And if it doesn't work out, you take full accountability for you making that decision. A lot of people want to outsource uh, those things and say, Chomi, what must I do? And then you guys break up and then next thing you're Chomi dating that same guy. You know, so give me, I'm, I try to stay out of that. I'll give advice. I'll definitely give advice and give my two cents, but I'll never say stay with her. No, you're staying with some evil. No, 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 no. Or leave, let her go. No, no, no. I'll give you my two cents. These are my views. These are my own personal experiences. This is how I view life. However, the decision of staying and leaving should be up to you. Give me this. There's, there's, there's no extreme anything. I've, I've seen it all. I've seen, I've literally seen women being impregnated by other men, yet the husband stays. I've seen men go step out the marriage and pregnant other women, yet the wife stays. I've seen physical violence. I've seen, you name it, the, the, the guy lost his job for a year, the sister stayed. So again, I'm not a person to tell you when to leave or when to go. Just understand what you will have to deal with the consequences of whatever happens, you know. Let me go back to being a, that, 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 that whole to housewife thing because it's bothering me. Women can change. Women who have lived an immoral life can change. This is my problem that I have with ex-hoes. Ex-hoes, they rake up a body count of whatever you define as a hoe. Maybe to you, if she's not a virgin, she's had sex with one person, she's a hoe to you, maybe. To other people, she's only a hoe if she slept with a hundred plus men. That's However you define a hoe, right? So, so now she had this whole face, she became a hoe, da, 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 da. We need to understand that everyone has a some sort of currency in today's society. What do I mean? I mean, Uguti, if, for example, I have Beyonce on the one side and I have Usbongel on the other side, there's a social currency to them. Beyonce is ranked at a higher social currency versus Usbongel on the other side. We know this. It's the same with guys. If I were to put... Uh, a Jonathan versus Brad Pitt. There's social currency, right? And then there's things that we do that drop it or increase it. Very simple. So if I take a standard, standard 25 year old guy and I say, look at him, how is he looking? He's so average. He works, he doesn't have a job. He stays at home. You then will rank him as let's say three. Okay, sharp. Next thing I say, actually, this guy is a brain surgeon. He makes 200,000 rand a month. All of a goes from three to being six. Next thing, I put him in gym, he gets a six pack, put, give him wings, whatever the case may be, then he becomes a nine. So there's certain things that increase and decrease your social uh, uh, currency. The same with females, you know. So with females, females are born with that sense of worth. They don't have to build it as much as men do, even though there are sisters that are going to the gym and doing them booty exercises and doing this and bafagama weave to try and increase that value. We get that. However, with sisters sleeping around, that mileage that you put in a car, it slowly decreases you. It really does. Um, and if you don't believe me, ask men. Have one-on-one -on -one serious discussions. It really does. Ask your average man, would, hey, would you prefer that your partner has had three sexual partners or 30 sexual partners? The guy will say three. And he understands why. Because he wants to drive a car with the least mileage possible. Okay, sharp. Here's my point. So you went through a whole phase and you slept with 30 guys in the span of two years. Okay, now you've changed. You've gone to church, you're born again, you've cleaned up your act. Let's say you really have, you really have. You've been single for the past two years. You've been going to church, you've actually uh, upgraded uh, your academics, you've now got a good job, whatever the case may be. Here's the problem that I have with a lot of ex hoes is that now they want us, the rest of society, to price them, to price them at a certain price. They, they, they want to, us to price them as if they didn't have this mileage like that didn't exist you know 
Now we need to convert you. No, 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 no. That car was in an accident. You know, yes, you could have uh, fixed the accident and painted it, got it new wheels, you know, uh, Shincha, the, the upholstery inside, but the mileage and it's got an accident. Hey, <laughs> come on. You know, so when you when I'm buying that car, when you're selling it to me, you need to factor that in. So I believe a lot of men out there will date sisters who have a high body count, will be with sisters with multiple date baby daddies. It's just the cost. The cost is too high. The cost is way too high. And if you guys were to come down, Nina, who are maybe extremely obese, when, uh, who's got five baby daddies, you, who's got a body count, of, if you were to go down in price, what do I mean by that? You're no longer looking for a guy who makes 50,000 rand a month. Then you're just happy with the guy who has a decent job, earns 8K. If you're no longer looking for a guy to buy you the latest iPhone, excuse me, iPhone 15, and you're like, shop. if you can go down in price and actually say, when I get with this guy, I will be that perfect wife. He will then balance whatever negative car accident high mileage versus the price. So now someone is trying to sell me a, a, a golf and I'm looking at this golf and this golf is sitting at 200,000 kilometers. I'm like, damn. Then they say, but we're willing to sell it for 15,000 Rand. I go, hmm. So if I get this, I can repair this. And then I start doing that calculation. Right? Someone's trying to sell me, hey, I'm trying to sell you the an, an iPhone. Okay. What iPhone is it? Oh, it's an iPhone 13. Okay. Uh, is it pre yes, it's real. Okay. Has it ever been? Yeah, it was broken. They fixed it. Okay. How much are you trying to sell it for? If the person comes and they want to sell it for the same price of a new phone, now I'm saying, oh, come on, dang, I must pay 20,000 Rand for a pre. No. Yeah, but we cleaned it up. No, no, stop. No, it's a pre owned. It's a pre-owned. It was used before. Come down with the price. It's an older model. Come down with the price. Oh, no, we'll sell it to you for 7000 Okay. Let's see phone. Now we understand. So when it goes back to turning a, 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 a hoe into a wife, it is very, very much possible. If she understands the model that she's in. I model 1984. Yeah, 84. Again, understand. With Connie model, I got 94. So Connie model, I got 2004. So you must understand. Which one will have a you understand? Say, I want to look at my TV. 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 I want to look at my You can't be that when there's new models of TV. I'm a smart TV. I'm skinny. You understand? So, adjust the price. We will, we will go and we will buy an iPhone 10, an iPhone 7. If the price is worth it. We will go and we will buy the test. If the price is worth it. So you sister who's has a crazy past. You sister who's as long as your price makes sense to guys. And you're like, look, um, yes, I've had a, a hoish past. Yes, I've had this. But this is my price. I will love you unconditionally. I will be very monogamous. But when I'm your son, I want my chitas of a kitchen. Again, I'm just Jay, cool man. But understand with the young young Bodarisha because all this way to buy a shinja and they grow and they develop and they what, but they pretend as if that doesn't exist and it does exist. So when they talk about turning a hoe into a housewife, the reason why a lot of guys tend to stay away from that is because they know what those skeletons will come back. Rather, if you tell me about those skeletons, this car has been an accident, this car had 15 different drivers, this car is a high manager, this car is this, this car is that, car is that. Yet I'm willing to drop down on price in order to meet you. Then how much it does on Sunday, and then it's easier to convert a hoe into a housewife. It's not ideal. It's never ideal. But all our sisters need loving. Tall sisters, short sisters, fat sisters, skinny sisters, all deserve our loving. And Tina Zamachita will make sure we we'll we'll meet you guys halfway. Anyway, I know a lot of you guys are gonna disagree. Comment below. Comment below what you disagree and why you disagree with it. Teach me something about converting hoes into housewives. Teach me something about. Uh, boundaries and, and, and having your whatever your line in the sand teach me teach me teach me teach me teach me teach me let me learn as well i'm also on this journey anyway with that being said please subscribe hit the notification bell share this video far and wide again sunday guys i'm out